Minister of Education Honorable Priya Manikchand, upon visiting the Good Hope Secondary School today, has expressed a disappointment over the slow movement of construction. The project was the original brainchild of the PPPC government to facilitate improvements in the education sector. However, major stalls in the project under the APNU AFC Coalition Administration has resulted in its incompletion years later. Minister of Education Honorable Priya Manikchand expressed disappointment over the progress while visiting on Thursday to assess the building's readiness. This school was envisioned by the PPPC in the previous administration, uh, the 2011 uh, to 2015 administration, to uh, bring in universal secondary education. This school should have finished in January of 2020. We are now in August of 2020. And I'm told by the technical experts on the ground, the consultants and so on, that at this pace, the supervising consultancy, that at this pace, at this pace, with these workers, this school is not going to finish until May of next year. That is wholly unacceptable. Minister Manik Chan also stated that during the timeline of the project, a number of secondary students would have missed a beneficial opportunity. I left this building, um, this project in 2015, and I'm here in 2020, and we're not finished. You have entire children that started high school who are going to go out of high school that did not get to benefit from this project. Further, she issued a warning to contractors stating that such behavior will not be tolerated under the PPPC government. People who bid for contracts and win them must ensure they do what they have to do to realize their, the, sign, the, the terms they sign in the contract. So I want to sound a warning to contractors. Um, the Ministry of Education, indeed the government of Ghana, is not going to be uh, tolerant of projects that, are, that go way beyond the time. Most contracts have provisions for liquidated damages and those are going to start being applied. The Good Hope Secondary School project is an $857 million project funded by the World Bank. It is expected to have 26 classrooms, a library block, a block for home economics, clothing and textiles, food and nutrition, art, science and IT labs, as well as a block for technical and vocational training. For InfoHub, Akishi Budi.